I mean, uh, it's kind of like the same boat for me. I want to learn. I want to get better every day. Uh, obviously, you know, as the years are going by, uh, I'm getting more mature, wiser, and getting a feel for the game and just everything. And, you know, as going into the season, I feel comfortable. You know, we had open gyms and just being around basketball for every day now is I'm getting more and more comfortable and I'm excited for everything that's coming. It's said that you asked for tape about everything that you did wrong last year. You looked at those tapes. Did you see a lot of things that you say, you know what, I know I can be better at this. I'm going to. Yeah, I mean, a lot was just, you got to understand, uh, like Pop would preach to me, like last year was really my rookie year, if you look at playing-wise. Uh, so there was a lot of bumps, but at the same time, there was a lot of good things to take from it. And uh, I mean, I just wanted to see everything I did good, everything I did bad, and that's just the guy I am. Uh, I'm a student of the game, and I like to see what I'm doing right or wrong, or my teammates are doing right or wrong, because obviously being a point guard in this lead is, you're the quarterback of everything, and you got to know every play. You got to know every player's position. So, you know, just little things like that. But to answer your question, I feel like I could have did a lot of that, you know, better. But you got to start somewhere, and that's where I started. Big three gone. You know, no mono, you know, obviously Tim's been gone, Kawhi's out. The locker room kind of needs that vocal leader. Yeah. And I've been saying it could be you. Yeah. Do you want that responsibility to be that guy to let people know when this team's playing bad, when he's playing good, to tell it like it is, like kind of like how Mono used to be that guy, you know, ready for that responsibility? I mean, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I've just been a guy, I've been a guy that's not afraid of criticism. I'm, I'm a guy that's, you know, willing to speak how I feel, and that comes, that plays a, a, a big role in, you know, being a leader. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to lead. I'm willing to always keep my ears open. You know, we got a lot of new guys, but, you know, I'm always open to hear. You know, if it's a rookie or a guy like, you know, DeMar or L.A. Powell, like guys like that, like I'm willing to, you know, hear what they got to say. But at the same time, uh, I'm not afraid to speak on what I see. You know, me and L.A. talk all the time in the games. Last year, year before that, you know, I tell him what I seen, why he missed that shot, I feel like. And, you know, if he rushed the shot or stuff like that. And to see him to allow me to do that just shows that, you know, my leadership, I feel like I could be a leader. So, I mean, I'm ready for whatever role Pop, you know, wants to allow me to have. Uh, and I'm just excited. I'm excited for the year. Jonathan, what did you learn from Tony just being around the next season? You talked to him before, before you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I learned a lot from him. That's Tony Parker. He's the, the greatest point guard ever put, put on the Spurs uniform, and it's going to stay that way uh, for a long time. And I mean, I learned a lot. He's a great dude, great player, uh, and it's more than basketball to me. You know, I try to watch everything he did off the floor and how he carried himself. And he was a pro. He was on time, never late, always ready to go. And then when it got to the on the court stuff, you know, I just watched everything, you know, how to how to be a spur and, you know, how to handle pop and, you know, just little things like that. And then on the basketball end, obviously, we're two different players, uh, you know, so I just try to watch what he did good, what he did bad, and learn from it and go from there. Could you, could you tell us how to handle yeah. pop? Because... <laughs> I mean, that's the type of guy I am. Pop, pop, no, I don't fear no man. So I know if he's yelling at me or he's he's talking to me, not yelling, it's, it's, it's for the better of me at the end of the day, so, you know, him yelling or anything doesn't bother me at all. How many, how many hours of tape would you say you watched this summer? I mean, I, pre I pretty much watched every game. Uh, I just watched them over and over. My summer is boring. I mean, <laughs> I just, I play, I worked out, I played pickup back home, uh, chilled at home, watched a lot of film, and that's how my summer was. How well did you and Chip get to know each other this summer? I mean, we got to know each other a lot. Chip's my guy. I love Chip. Uh, he just wants the best for me. He see how, how hard I work, and he I, he I gotta want it for myself. And you know, he see how much I want it for myself. So he's just a guy there, you know, willing to pitch in and give me, you know, tips. Would uh, you say that he, he's been on the past to completely change the way a guy shoots, to completely break it down? Was it anything that dramatic this summer? Or how, how would you describe that process? I mean, we just tweaked a little bit of things, and then it was just a lot of a lot of reps, a lot of reps, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be the first one here every morning, last one to leave, just getting reps and reps and reps. You know, that's just who I want to be. Do you see that mid-range jumper as being the, the next step for you? Like when you can knock that down, it's gonna unlock. I mean, obviously in this league today, especially, uh, 
I feel like I do a lot of great things. Uh, I feel like I got, I got a lot of things I got to work on that I've been working on. But obviously, if you can shoot in this league, knock down a mid-range, you know, a three here and there, then it could take you a long way, especially with the other things I'm capable of doing. When you were watching the tapes of, of the games last year, did you see defenses kind of sagging off of you and letting you shoot? What, what goes through your mind when you see guys basically daring you to shoot? Confidence. I gotta be ready to knock it down. That's what I put the work in for. Uh, thousands, thousands, thousands of shots this summer, and you know, playing open gym, getting a little, a little game like five on five. But at the end of the day, it's confidence, and I feel like, you know, I'm a confident dude, and I feel like this year is gonna be a, a more exciting, and better. I was gonna say that this team is better maybe than last year. They're more versatile. I have more weapons. Lamar he comes in averaging 20, and y'all held the third seat down for most of the year last yeah, year yeah. without Kawhi. Think it's a better squad than this year? I mean, I don't like to get into better squads because nobody knows what it's going to be like. I mean, but obviously, I can speak for last season. And last season, as you, like you just said, uh, we held down the third spot for a long time. And there was a lot of drama and stuff, uh, you know. So all that stuff is gone. And I just feel like, you know, tomorrow, first day of practice, I'm ready to go. I hope guys is ready to go because I know Pop's going to be ready to go. And it's going to be exciting. You got new guys, and you know I feel like I'm a guy who I'm new, but I've, I've been here for two years, so I know the plays. I know what to expect from Pop and the rest of his staff. So I'm just looking forward to lead. And if anybody got questions, you know that's new. I'm willing to help them, and you know we're just ready to go. We're going to start. We're going to build a brotherhood off the court, and then it's going to carry on to the undercourt. You lost that two workout with LeBron. Say that again. Getting workouts with LeBron. Yeah, 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 yeah. This summer for sure. Yeah, yeah. How's it been with the uh, Demar so far? Do you feel like you're gonna mesh well this season? Yeah, we talk a lot. I mean, uh, I'm a I'm a face to face guy. I don't like texting like that. So like you know, when I seen him, you know, I let him know all that stuff is done. You know, obviously I can't speak on upon. Hi Rudy, how you doing? <laughs> I can't speak nothing about Toronto because I don't know nothing about it. But, you know, I just told Rudy, like, I mean, uh, DeMar, this is family here. We're going to accept you, you know, and we know you're going to be ready to work. Uh, your game speaks for itself. And, you know, at the end of the day, we accept you like family. You lost I, I know two of the premier about. defenders in the league. With the evolution of the game, what are the adjustments that you all have to do? Is it that much one-on-one -on -one defense still? Is it a different game now? I mean, I don't feel like it's one-on-one -on -one defense. I feel like there's five guys on the floor, so everybody got to take responsibility for their job. But, you know, me being myself, I love defense. Uh, I want to be the best defender in the NBA. So I'm willing to – it starts with me, the guard, picking the ball up, you know, and, and making it hard for the guy bringing the ball up, making it hard for them to run their offense. So it's going to start with me, and I just feel like if I bring the energy that I know I could bring on a daily – on a nightly basis, uh, my teammates is going to follow. What went through your mind when you heard that trade was done? Kawhi's out, DeMar's, DeMar's in. What was your like, first reaction? I mean, I, I was glad it was over. Everywhere I went, every, I couldn't really go nowhere. Everybody asking me and, you know, just all the drama and the Spurs ain't used to drama. So it was weird for everybody in the world. But, uh, you know, like I always say, you know, uh, I don't want to speak on the past. It is what it is. As long as Kawhi's happy, he's happy. Uh, that's my guy for life. I don't care what happened between him and the Spurs. It got nothing to do with me, and it's bigger than basketball. So, you know, we got a great player. Toronto got a great player, and let's just go from there. But at the same time, you're glad that you don't have that off, off the court distraction. I started yeah, yeah, there was a lot. I mean, a lot everywhere we went, you see on ESPN or first take, uh, you know, Kawhi, Spurs, Kawhi, Spurs. There was a lot of drama, and we just glad it's over with, and we get to go into – Training camp with no drama and you know new guys, exciting guys, and this is gonna be a fun year. You've been here a while. How how does today feel compared, you know, to the other years? It seems so different. I mean, it's just like a routine now. I know what to expect. Media, photos, easy stuff. Knock it out, then just be ready to go for practice. The YouTube channel on hold during the season. Yeah, yeah. I mean no. that. I mean, I'm going I'm to be focused 110%, but that's my girl, so, you know, this going to be, this going to be, <laughs> you know how the ladies are, so, you know, I don't do nothing off the floor, so that's, that, that was a good thing for me, too. I get to open up instead of being this shy guy and this guy that don't do nothing off the floor, so it's main basketball come before anything. She know that, as long as she know that, and everything else is good. Anybody else, Mr. Dante? Thanks, DJ.
Yeah. You really think right this? Here. You really think this group knows how the ladies are? <laughs> they should. <laughs> <We know. laughs>